Hello, my name is Barry Schrank. I'm a member of the board of the Atlanta Opera. And uh, actually my portfolio is chairman of the education committee, which is a great job. And I think the best job that a board member could have because you get to come out to uh, events such as this, our first commissioned opera, and of course it's for children, Rapid Tales. Uh, it was just very exciting to be here at the Wren's Nest uh, and to see the uh, response of the children, uh, especially at the end of the opera when the children had an opportunity to talk with and ask questions of the performers. Do you compete to do your part? How did you come up with ideas for the costumes? Is it hard to sing as a group? Are there any foods that you stay away from right before a performance? Why? <laughs> uh, we're very fortunate that we have programs like this that we can send out to the schools, uh, basically for kindergarten through fifth graders. Uh, throughout the state of Georgia and uh, we thank our sponsors and we also thank our supporters and foundations that have made this possible. So uh, we're very fortunate with our having the uh, director of education we have Emily Iden uh, who is just uh, uh, walks around full of ideas and, and suggestions how do we expand the program and uh, give the children of the state of Georgia an opportunity to see uh, not only theater, but a specific portion of theater, which is opera, uh, which is a combination of music and singing uh, and complete staging, just like you would see uh, in the theater. I was excited because most opera companies don't commission operas, and those that do usually commission uh, what you might call adult operas. And uh, so this is a, a great opportunity for the Atlanta Opera. Uh, I believe that uh, as this develops over the next year or two, other opera companies throughout the country will contact us uh, to determine whether or not they can use uh, this opera in their own states and with their own school system. Uh, I've attended any number of performances in various schools around the state and truly the kids get involved in it and uh, it's absolutely amazing it, it, it makes it all worthwhile all the effort that goes into it one of the most special times i alluded to it earlier is when they get an opportunity to ask questions and uh, uh, i remember a question from years ago when a little girl asked one of the sopranos is that your hair and of course she took her wig off and all the kids were just shocked that her, that her hair came off and I think she had dark hair underneath her blonde wig. And uh, those are the kind of things that happen and it, it generates enthusiasm for the children, giving them their first exposure in many cases uh, to the arts. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with the cutbacks, with the economy, the problems with the school system and their budgeting. Uh, children don't have the same opportunity that I think I had as, as a youngster uh, to see, uh, uh, to go to museums, uh, make trips to uh, theaters and see uh, events such as this. So that's one of the primary reasons uh, that we've developed uh, such a large education uh, outreach program. So I think we're going in the right direction and I think because of the cutbacks in other areas, uh, as we get more funding, as we become more successful, uh, maybe we can take the place of what used to be in the school systems.